<laughs> He's gonna knock me off this log. <laughs> and then onto this little rock. Look, I didn't even have to tell him to do. Out here in Payson today, Horton Creek Trail. Milo's taking off on me, but it's a beautiful, beautiful hike. Tons of pine trees, as you can see. Creek runs the whole way along this trail. If you got a water filter, you got clean drinking water the whole way. Tons of camping up on this other side of the creek here. Pretty quiet during the week. You might see it small handful of people but check it out enjoy So this is my usual water system when I go out in the back country. I usually just get one of these like platypus style bladders and a Sawyer filter and I just kind of hang it from something and uh, bam, just like that. So on the way into this trail, there's kind of a big river crossing. I'm sure I'll post it somewhere along this video, but my socks and my shoes got super wet. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start a little fire and try and dry out my clothes. For those that don't know, dryer lint is some of the best fire starter. So I just got some dryer lint wrapped in some toilet paper. This is the move. So, boom, one shot done.
so delicately, we place the rocks into the shoe. Ever so delicately. There we go. I'm thinking to try and cross right here on these rocks over to that log and then up over to that side to kind of explore a little bit what's going on over there so let's give it a shot so i think there's a good nine out of ten chance i'm about to biff it so hopefully milo doesn't biff it too because only one of us is allowed to fall in this water right now oh it's a savage <laughs> This guy just jumped onto this rock. Alright. Man, you are an agile little dog, aren't you? So full disclaimer, I got Milo like two months ago. And I've been learning about him ever since, but he's always impressing me. Little rock, look. I didn't even have to tell him to do that. He, oh, uh, I might have spoke too soon. <laughs> you got it, bud? I believe in you. Go. Hey. <laughs> Dude, he's like a ninja. All right. Oh, man. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right all right we have officially made it to the other side Whew. looks like some people camp back here too so like i said people usually cross over because it's more quiet you don't get the traffic of all the people on the trail coming down and trying to see the water like if you cross over over here you're not really going to get any traffic coming through so You got it, bud? You got it? There we go. Come on. Nice. Good work, bud. Milo just don't care at all. Says the hell with it, I'll get wet. I don't care. Check out this campsite though. This is the place to be. Check that out, right up against the water. Got the fire pit, everything's nice and flat, for the most part. I mean, it's not going to be perfect, it's nature, but...
Maybe I'm a big kid, but whenever I see a log growing across a river or stream, I always got to walk across it. This dog amazes me. Every time I take him out, he shows me some other like feat of athleticism that I didn't know that he had. Always have to cross logs that are going over a river or a stream or any kind of creek. Oh, Milo's gonna join me. Milo is a ballsy dog. <laughs> He's gonna knock me off this log big jerk <laughs> anyway I hope you guys are really enjoying the content I love getting out here and just doing what I love you know and I hope you guys are doing the same gonna wrap up my hike with a little cold plunge I appreciate you guys watching I love being out here I hope I inspire some of you guys to come out and hike get out there and do that hike you've always wanted to do it's not that hard you're in shape enough You've got the time, you've got the resources, just get it done.